28 West after a serious crash closed the busy Lehigh Valley roadway this morning. I, it was a slow night. Slow nights are scary because you know it, it's one of those things like something's going to happen. Schmidt got into his car, texted his wife that he's coming back. He got onto the I-78. I called him up. He told me, really, I just finished a gig and I'm on the way home and I'm stuck. About 1 a.m., the car lost power, pulled it over to the side. I remember first telling him, go to the passenger side and stay there. That is historically known as an extremely dangerous roadway. Unfortunately, the inevitable happened. Tracked the trailer at 80 miles per hour, drove by, rear-ended the car. He was dispatched to uh, Interstate 78 around the 14-mile marker eastbound. Copy is moving once again on I-78 West after a serious crash closed the busy Lehigh Valley roadway this morning. Schmidt was ejected from the car flew 50 feet into the grasslands on the side over a fence. When we got to the scene, I observed a passenger vehicle uh, that was on an icy snow-covered embankment on the uh, south side of Interstate 78. 10, 15 minutes went by. I called back once, twice. He didn't pick up. This is when immediately I realized The shock which his family was going through is unimaginable. Bajrucha Plutus, a nurse who was traveling from Pennsylvania back after a shift, realized that there was a car wreck on the other side. She knew that there's a person missing here, and she went in into the side in the snow. It took her 20 minutes until she heard some breathing in the tall grass, where she identified Shmili laying there almost towards the end of his life. We found him in a field, agonal respirations. Can, agonal respirations are when you're taking your, you're taking those last breaths. His blood pressure dropped to 50 over 25 due to his blood loss, which is going rapid. But she saw right away that uh, he needs a big miracle. And it took them six hours to stabilize him that he shouldn't die on the spot. I don't know, I was thinking it might be the last time I spoke to him. We don't know if he's going to make it. Please go the fastest possible to go see what's going on there. So I got a phone call from Hatzola and from Crown Heights, actually. Someone was seriously hurt on, on the I-78. I drove the fastest possible, and I was worried for the worst. The doctors didn't believe he's going to make it. His care was extremely complicated because he not only had this horrific spine fracture, he also had a very severe traumatic brain injury with bleeding in his brain. He had a jaw fracture, his face was fractured. It was a trauma, a real trauma. When Ms. Schleifer got the call, she immediately got Ms. Pry of our critical care coordinator to be on the case. She was with her non-stop on the phone, day and night, guided us step by step, what to say, what not to say. So in order Schmilly should have a chance for his future life, we were in search for the best orthopedic spine surgeons around. So I first heard about uh, Schmuel and his accident from Rivke Spry. He was obviously going to need surgery and was going to need intensive care monitoring for his traumatic brain injury as well. The local hospital in Pennsylvania was quite pessimistic about discharging Schmilly or transferring him to another place. They did not feel it was that safe. And we had a big fight with the doctors. All five, ten doctors against me. And I told them we have high medical. They are going to tell us exactly what we should do, what we shouldn't do. We're very, very scared about the operation, but we had uh, high medical. The transport itself is extremely risky. Manhattan 42, which bus do you have heading to the helipad? 10-4, Westside 901. So, Baruch Hashem, it was a big, big success, big siyata d'shmaya. The, the operation, the doctor came out very happy. So he was a real fighter. He managed to pull himself up out of a very bad situation very quickly. Surprised all of us how well he did and how quickly he came back.
I went through four, four surgeries in total. And Chaim Medical was there every step of the way. Guiding, comforting, helping. The way they were with us the whole time. We don't have words for uh, this organization. Unbelievable. It's great working with Chaim Medical. They are incredible at what they do. They're a link between me and the patients and their families to make sure that there's no gaps in communication. Without the angels of Chaim Medical, we wouldn't have been here today.